Old St. Luke's Hospital is one of Jacksonville's oldest buildings, here on Palmetto Street, just a stone's throw away from the arena. For more than a century, the building has withstood disease, destruction, and disuse. In its early years, the hospital was a nursing school, but when the yellow fever epidemic struck in 1888, the students were put into service treating the sick and dying. Lawrence Wayne Mosley is the archivist for the Jacksonville Historical Society, which owns the building. Also up here on the wall, we have this interesting letter that was written, sort of a very short memoir from Sherita Bouchelon. She was um, part of the first nursing class that started here in St. Luke's Hospital, and she describes in the letter um, people that she encountered during her first week uh, and, and different deaths that occurred. Um, some of them were pretty horrific. She talks about different people being shot, things like that, who came into the hospital. That was the hospital's first brush with death. The next was the turning point in Jacksonville's history, the Great Fire. When the fire of 1901 started, it burned down almost all of the city. Um, so most of the core of downtown burned down. So this is one of the few buildings um, that survived the Great Fire of 1901 that we still have in the city today. The fire claimed over 2,000 other buildings and seven lives. Old St. Luke's was spared simply because of its lucky location. It was in part this creek right behind me which helped save the hospital from the Great Fire of 1901. The fire came right up to the edge of the creek, but did not go over. In 1914, a new hospital was built under the St. Luke's name, and this location ceased operations. Its two wings were eventually demolished, and the main building was slated for the wrecking ball. But it was saved when Florida Congressman Charles Bennett moved his office here in 1976. From there, it changed hands until the Historical Society bought it. They saw it as a good location to house their archives. The archives, um used to be housed in the library at uh, Jacksonville University, and, uh, but we outgrew that space. So we had a lot of the archives stored um, in another location, and so when we uh, were offered the opportunity to, to purchase this building, we did, and that way we were able to combine them both um, and have everything in one spot. The Historical Society moved in early 2012. They spread their archives out through the three-story hospital and the defunct Florida Casket Company building next door. Their collection is focused on preserving the records of Jacksonville, both historical and contemporary. According to the Society, although they're focused on preserving the past, they're very much about enhancing Jacksonville's future. Uh, you know, I think history sort of forces you to be more forward-looking at the same time that you're looking towards the past, and um, I think it gives our life some extra meaning and context. Andrew Huddleston, Inside Jacksonville.